Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video and in this video, I want to tell you a story. Now this story is something which I always talk about in all of my offline events, whether I'm taking a boot camp or I'm presenting a talk or simply being guest at any university. I usually talk with this story in my offline event, but I think it is the right time to just share this story and this incident with all of you as well. In this story, you're gonna learn two things very important two things that every programmer should understand. So let's get started. This is a story of a student and a master. We are going to call this student as Panda and master as Shifu. Now this is not your regular Panda which you are a big fan, I'm a big fan. This story is a story of Painter Panda. Yes, in this scenario of our story, the panda is a painter. Not just any painter, he's a good painter. On a side note, some of you might be thinking, hey, what this panda and this painting has to do something with programmer? And here is your lesson number one. Always be patient. This is the number one step that every programmer has to get it. Nothing just serves like that with a click of something. It has to be come up with a lot of patience. So there we go. You have already learned one thing, which is having patience. Coming back onto our story, Panda in our case is an awesome painter, but he's not a master. Master is a Shifu here. So now Panda is a really good painter and he just draws really awesome painting. So one day the Panda was thinking, you know what? I am a decent painter, but I'm not reaching to a great level. I should do something to improve my painting. So eventually Panda decided that I should take public opinion so that I can improve my painting. Panda went out onto a wall which was there in the public and he drew an awesome remarkable masterpiece of the painting that probably nobody could have drawn. And he wrote a simple note below that painting. If you think that there is something wrong with this painting, please pick up the pen and pencil and just give me a note that what you think that what is missing in this painting or how this painting could be improved. Panda being Panda, he went for a great awesome lunch and when he came back, he saw that his notebook was entirely filled. People have written a lot of critique in his work. The line work is not awesome, your shading is missing, your color selection is not good and all the possible comment that could have been made for that painting came in that notebook. Panda got really sad that, you know what, I was thinking that I am a decent painter and I'm not. He was really sad. Master Shifu came and saw the panda sitting with a sad face and he saw and he asked Panda, you know, why are you sad Panda? Haven't you eaten something? He said, Master Shifu, I have been trying to be a great painter but looks like I'm not being designed or I'm not being made to be a painter. Master Shifu said, why are you thinking in such a manner? Panda said, I just drew this painting in a public sector and I just wrote a note that if you think that there is something missing in this painting, you can point that out. And I got this whole notebook filled up with all the critiques and comments about my line work, my shadows, my color selection and pretty much everything. Shifu saw the notebook and said, why don't you show me what is that painting? Shifu went to saw the painting and the painting was amazing. He said, okay, there is surely a room for improvement in this painting, but why don't we do one thing? Let me try to improve you overnight. Panda got amazed that how is that even possible? He said, go and get a good sleep and come back tomorrow and I'll show you how you can improve overnight. Next day when Panda came, Master Shifu told Panda, today we're gonna go into more busier street where you can do a painting and just don't write any note below that painting. I'm gonna write that note. Panda said, okay, I'm gonna give my best because we are now painting in a much busier street, so I should give my best. Panda again drew a masterpiece and the painting was amazing. And then Panda called Master Shifu that, hey, I have completed my painting. Can you please write the note that if there's something missing in the, no in the painting, you can just tell me about that. This time, Master Shifu wrote a completely different note in that painting. Master Shifu wrote, there is nothing perfect in this world. Obviously, there is a room for improvement in this painting too. So here is the brush, here is the paint. Please improve the painting according to you. And then Master Shifu told Panda, 
we're gonna sit here just in front of the painting there is a restaurant we're gonna have a lunch there we're gonna wait till the evening and we are going to see that how much how many of these people can actually improve this painting and you know what they found out nobody not even a single person touched the paint or the brush panda got confused and panda asked master shifu that hey i know this painting is not perfect it is even much little bit lower in quality as what i drew in the last my of my painting job but why nobody actually critique this painting and critique that painting so much? And here, my dear friend, lies the absolute truth about the world. Everybody in this world is an amazing critique, whether it's about movie making, whether it's about YouTube, whether it's programming or anything. Everybody is a critique. But when the things come up to actually do something, it's really, really tough. And people just stop doing that. And that same thing happened in the Master Shifu's version of this story. When you ask somebody that, hey, do a critique, everybody is going to point out mistake, regardless of how great you have done or how badly you have done. But when things come up of actually doing the things, there are only a handful of people who can actually provide you inside details about what you are missing or what can be improved. Exactly same thing happens when you start learning programming as well. When you start learning programming, the moment you have decided that I'm going to be a programmer, you have already left half of the world behind you because there is shortage of programmers still. And when you show something which is very like basic stuff like printing a hello world or just making an app on tap of a button, it says hello world. This is all exciting for you. This is all exciting for me. This is all exciting for people who knows what the programming means and how code actually is implemented. But for the general people who are just out there, when you, when you just go to them and just present your app that it just says hello world, they don't have exact same excitement as you do have, as I am having. These people are just critique of your work without having inside knowledge of what actually it takes to build an app. They are just gonna say your website is crappy, it doesn't look good, there is no symmetry and all these things. But what they don't know is how much it takes to design that basic website. Everybody is a beginner at the starting stage. Over the time, everybody improves. I'm not saying you should not be critique about your work, but I think you are the best person to decide how much room is there for the improvement. Obviously, take advice from the people who actually knows the stuff about what you are building, but taking advice from any random people who have absolutely no idea what the programming is, is not so good idea. I can understand your feeling when you are able to successfully write a loop, a function, a class. It feels amazing even though that program doesn't do much, it just finds out an even number or odd number, but that is a tough task to perform. You have done that, I would say congratulations to you. But don't be just demotivated when you just present this work to somebody who doesn't understand what a programming is. It takes a lot of hard work and a lot of effort to build something. I know what you are building for the very first time, whether it's a website, a simple app, it's not that easy and it's gonna look really, really bad. But you know what? This is your first creation. This is gonna improve over time when you're gonna spend like five months, six months, over in the year, five years, it's gonna look more awesome. But whatever you have created right now, be proud on that. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please do share this video with all of the friends so that they can understand what it takes to be a programmer and the path that you are choosing to become a programmer is not easy. But yes, there are only a few of people who choose this path. Join me up at my YouTube channel. Do hit the subscribe button. You don't have to be afraid at my channel. This is a channel for programmers and programmers are the most kind community over the planet. They always respect that somebody is a beginner and we were at one point of time were beginners. You will find amazing community at my YouTube channel. Don't hesitate to post any of your problems in YouTube comment. I always try to get back to you and even my community at my YouTube channel is the best on YouTube. They are never going to bully you. They are going to try to help you as much as possible. So don't hesitate. Join me up. Hit that subscribe button and welcome to the amazing family of programmers. And yes, one more final note. Do check out learncodeonline.in app at App Store and Google Play. And also, I'll catch you up in the next video.